Hey there. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about melee damage, and particularly, I guess, with cutting logs if you ever wanted to be a lumberjack. But uh, we're primarily going to be focusing on getting the device velocity and applying it to an object. So let's hop into Unity and see what we have. So here we are in Unity. I'm going to briefly go over the axe as well as the log. So for the axe, I've gone into my 3D program and I've set up a custom mesh that I'm using as a trigger for when we are hitting the log instead of using a collider for the entire axe. And then for the log, it's just two pieces of a identical mesh with a trigger on top that lets me know um, once the axe has hit the top to split both of the logs. And I'm using mesh colliders for all of this. You could potentially get away with box colliders or some sense of your own custom collision that you would make in a 3D program. But for this instance, I'm just gonna kind of do what is quickest and what's easiest for this demonstration. So let's hop into Visual Studio and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the code. So here we have the blade script. It's pretty simple. We're just holding the particle system, the Steam VR controller, as well as the interaction script. And the setup method is called once the object is picked up and we are passing in the necessary information for the blade to communicate back with the controller once the blade hits a surface. And then going over to the log, we have a couple game objects for the two halves, a particle system, as well as a collider, which in the awake function is pretty self-explanatory. And then within the trigger, we're doing a tag check. We're gonna get the component of the blade and we're going to see if the blade is currently being held. And then we're going to do a call to the split and we're gonna pass the blade to it. And then within the actual split, we're checking the magnitude of the velocity. And if it's above three, we essentially split the log and we enable the physics for both of the halves as well as playing the particle effect. But if it's less than three, but more than one, we will essentially stick the ax within the log. And then this is just the simple enable physics where we are just passing in the game object, we're getting the rigid body, and we are enabling gravity while setting the kinematic to false. And that's pretty much it. You're now a lumberjack. Enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye.